Oh, you know, we could always do... I forgot this was a thing in this. We could always do the questionnaire and see what it puts me as. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing when it comes to, like, picking your character. You can either do it, like, yourself or a uh, questionnaire and it decides what clan you'd best fit in. Hey, Chungus. You're just in time. Uh, just started the game. You know, why not? Why not do the, the questionnaire one? <laughs> it always puts me as no as Yeah, that, that can be a bit unfortunate. Cause that's like the the hardest one to play as, right? Because you can't like just walk around the world to see your appearance. <laughs> uh, email. We are in a convenience store looking through the beer freezer when all of a sudden a man walks in and pulls a gun on the cashier. That these are hard hitting questions, like right off the bat. Okay. I <laughs> like being ugly, true, yeah. That is. Looking you know, your character looking nice is important in games like this. Yeah, I get that. Uh I mean, if we're being heat real right now, I, I want to try to confront someone with a gun. Yeah, I'd just go lock myself in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not even bothering to cover up, it's worse, yeah. Bouncer at opening an exclusive nightclub, won't let you inside to party with all the beautiful people. What does that- what does that mean? <laughs> Is he saying I'm ugly? That's rude. Uh, <laughs> so, Vince, if you work for that director, you know who, bring, you'll bring him with next time? Hide in the back and sneak in. And revive him. Well, bribing him involves handing over money, and I'm stingy with money, so obviously you just, like, sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> he said, this without finishing the questionnaire. Right! <laughs> it's like, wow, rude. Why are you calling me ugly? I haven't even started yet. Being a night person. <laughs> watch a lot of late night TV movies. Three movies are on, which do you watch? Fist of the Monkey King, a wire foo film. Uh, Sword of the Bushi, Japanese film, or Saint Murderstein the Third, the cop that doesn't play by the rules, takes on the drug cartel that kidnapped his daughter with only his trusty 44 to back him. That is Sergeant <laughs> Oh, I said Satan, didn't I? Sergeant uh Murderstein does not sound like it'd be like some cop show. <laughs> well, I guess it's like an action. Probably like a, I think of a, fuck, what is that director's name? Michael Bay? All the explosions and shit going on in the background. It's literally just Nerdy Harry, yeah. No, none of these are honestly, because out of all the, the, the genres of movies I watch the most, it's like horror movies. Though I have been watching, I started watching uh, Sugar on Apple TV, which is sort of like a detective drama series, kind of detective noir. They like to put a lot of like old black and white like uh, scenes from uh, old detective noir films <laughs> interlaced with like what's going on in the show. So I guess out of all of these, yeah. Sergeant Murderstein the third. Yeah. Stuck in traffic at a concert and the guy behind you is laying on the horn. Friends in the car urging you to park the car and help them stick the dude's horn somewhere uncomfortable. Uh <laughs> no. again. I'm not big on confrontation. Also, I like how the music stopped. I guess it doesn't loop. 
Sorry, we just gotta sit here in silence. Um, you know what? I don't. I kind of try to avoid confrontation, so I'd probably talk my friends down. You know, I don't really need to be going to jail. Are you a normal person or a liar? Right. Yeah, how many people are actually getting out of their cars to, like, beat people up? <laughs> You'd have to be insane. <laughs> that is a crazy person, like, scenario. Some crazed wild Karen, <laughs> you know? Uh, you're in a nightclub having a damn good time when you realize you're out of money. No cash, no fun. Do you seduce somebody and have them pay for your drinks? Time just right so you can snatch a bottle when the bartender isn't looking. Or go home and read a book or listen to music. Something more intellectually stimulating than wasting life in a lame club. <coughs> Excuse me. Well. If you're already at the club, would you really consider it that lame? <laughs> Hmm. You know what? Seduce someone for dr drinks. Why not? We're already there. If you were a spy, would you be the kind that charms and seduces the way to the info? Or the kind that gets in and out without being seen? Hmm. After all the effort it took to sneak in the club? True, yeah. Yeah, are we talking about the same club from before? <laughs> the bouncer called us ugly. So we don't want to leave right away. <laughs> um, I don't know. We picked seduction for the Lance an answer. Why not go again? Yeah. Charm people for their info. The world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Why? <laughs> They have sight in the world won't even know you're there. When you're as talented and attractive as I am, the world is your plaything. Wow. Just have our character have an ego. Yeah. You know what? Sure. <laughs> you have an embraced by the Torador clan. Known as artists, visionaries, and members of high society, Torridors have a great connection with the mortal world through arts and entertainment. Masters of communication and social skills, Torridors, fit right in with the mortals who adore them. Oh, I... <laughs> an ugly Torridor. Unheard of. <laughs> I feel like the game doesn't actually know where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, alright, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 